technology is changing the way dairy farmers do business. Gone is the rigid schedule of twice a day milking. Now, a cow can practically milk herself. Our old facility was a flat barn stanchions and uh, we milked twice a day in there and it took um, 70 cows, it took about three hours twice a day. We were overcrowded and not much room to grow in the old facility. We had three milkers, but you could only bring in six cows at a time. It was a long process. So we are going to build a new freestyle barn, and then we were just going to build a milking parlor. Some people suggested to us that we check robots out, so we priced both, and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of difference in the cost because you don't need near as big a barn. A profile of each cow is entered into the computer. When a cow walks into the robotic milker, data is passed from cow to machine. Each cow can come in as often as they like, up to every four hours. We have transponders on their neck, and uh, when they come into the robots, it identifies the cow and knows her history, how much she's milking, so it knows how much feed to give her. And then while she's milking, it'll, it's on the muscle on the neck, so that's how it knows how much rumination she does during the day. Rumination is when they bring their feed back up and chew it, and it can tell how much walk around she does. When the computer has identified the cow, the robot begins the process of milking. An arm reaches out with small brushes to clean each teat. Once clean, a laser maps the udder and locates each teat, and milking begins. After she is milked, disinfectant is sprayed and the robot releases her. The robot can tell the milk temperature and how much she is given. If the cow is way off in quantity, the computer flags her. Laura goes through the data to see if her temperature is up, whether or not she is walking around like normal, and how far she is down in milk production. We're able to check on each individual cow and know how she's doing versus the old way, which it would just be by how they acted, and every cow is different, but if she's not acting herself, then we obviously know something's wrong, but this way, we already know something's wrong before it gets to a really bad point. The robots have helped us out as far as our schedule. Uh, it's a lot more flexible. The time we spend now is looking for cows that's off feed, sick, in heat, or has some issue. Even with all the new technology, Lee can rely on the cow's basic instinct, hunger, to help them adapt to the new system. The way we get them into Malcolm is we give them a treat in the robots, and that's more or less what entices them to come is their desire to eat. And they get a little bit of relief from being milked and not have to carry the milk, but the main driver is the feed in the robot. But a lot of the older cows, I mean, it's hard to teach an old cow new tricks, but that's what we're trying to do, and it's easier said than done sometimes. The first couple milkings, they're not going in there. Some of them catch on kind of quick because they're getting feed in there and they figure out that mm, this isn't bad. New heifers that just be milked the first time, usually after a week or so, they're no problem at all. They like it. The new barn and the robots have helped raise productivity. We're up about 20 pounds from where we were in the old setup, and part of it is feeding, part of it is being milked oftener, and part of it is just the environment. There's a lot of fans in there, a lot of fresh air. Right now we're at 92 cows, we're adding 20, 25 cows a year. The barn will hold about 340 once they're full. People think, that, oh, what do you do now that you have robots milking? But we spend about as much time in here as we did before. It's just our time spent more, I guess, wisely treating sick cows and things like that instead of just milking cows. I mean, the robots will tell me there's a cow with a temperature, and I would have never guessed it until the next day. Or right now, it'll tell you you can actually treat them and have the cow respond before you even know she's sick. And it's a lot easier to treat when you catch them early. It makes you appreciate it when you, when you have it, because you know what it's like to not to. If you love Our Ohio Television, then you'll enjoy being an Our Ohio supporter. For just $25, you can enjoy Our Ohio Magazine support Ohio food and farms, and stay connected to what's happening in your community. Visit supportourohio.org.